Hello everyone. Today we will discuss. Victory over your strong enemy. Amen. There are people which complain because of what they're passing through. Jesus says. Bind the strong man. Who is the strong man? Satan. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Don't undermine him. We will see some of the things which Satan uses to torment. 1. Anger. Hello sir, you forgot to give me my money. Are you insane? Get out! Why am I angry like this, just for money? I don't want anger, operation of Satan. 2. Envy. Dr. Tony you are now promoted. I hate that man. Every time I have envy, I am tired. I hate myself so much. Operation of Satan. 3. Lust. That woman has a beautiful body form, look at her bum. Who said that? So I could say such word, I am a fool. 4. Hatred. Every time I see that man it provokes me. Was it me saying that? Why, why, why? 5. A lying tongue. Oh no. Why did I broke that? Who broke that computer? It wasn't me. 7. Fear. I will not go with a plane again. I don't think I will land safely. Hello my boy. That woman must be a witch. Satanic operation. 8. Sickness, a normal one which comes all the time without stop. 9. Evil thoughts of blasphemy. This god doesn't even exist. Hey! I have blasphemed against the Holy Spirit. 10. Pride. Look at all these people, they are nothing before me. Was it me that said that? Oh no, if these thoughts don't come from you, and you don't accept them, and reject them, you have not sinned because you didn't willingly think them, but if you don't deal away with them see what will happen. Girl you know when I saw you in that train, you looked so nice. Come let us make love. No. Come on. Okay. You might commit fornication if you don't do anything about that lust. But now we will see how to get out of this. Satan wants you to think you did it, but you didn't. I will sleep now. You are a madman, I will kill you. A. Oh no! I have sinned. No my son, you have not sinned, I am a gentle and intelligent God. You cannot have sinned because you sinned in a dream. Make God to love you, do what he says and don't do what he says that you should not do. Oh. You are so handsome, come. God Omnipotent doesn't want this. If you pray ask righteous people to pray with you so that each of you can be inspired on what to pray by each other, for it is written, two are better than one. Also when you pray and pray and are tired, don't say a word but look at the cross of Calvary with your heart and think of what the Lord did on the cross. Like this. Shout, when you pray, if you command the devil. Like this. God help me, bless me, I want to be holy, Lord I want to be holy please. After 30 minutes. In the mind, Jesus died on the cross to save us. Victory will be yours if you do this, in Jesus name, Amen. My brother, please pray with me. Okay. Father, Father help me. What should I pray? Oh God make me holy. Make me righteous. Jesus, make me holy, make me righteous after 40 minutes. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Always ask joint prayer, obey God's word, trust in the Lord. And now look at your rewards if you do these things. Devil. Get out! Evil thoughts. Get out! I command that you. Get out! All evil and evil sin. Get out! In Jesus' name, Amen. Victory! This my son I love him and cherish him, evil thoughts, get out of him. One other thing, if you don't obey God complete, don't expect victory. Amen. Hello everyone. I hope you learned something from this message. Bye.